What's up guys, welcome back to Destiny Updates for another Bungie Weekly Update Breakdown. Unfortunately, I'm short on time at the moment, so I'm gonna have to keep the video short this time. I'll just briefly cover the important parts. Starting off, he talks about their trips to Europe and Brazil, but not much to go on there. And then his usual paragraph on what's happened in Destiny over the week. He says, Meanwhile at home, the sprawling vistas we're coding into our game came into sharper focus. The Hunter earned some new threads worthy of their role as an assassin. Bungie.net started to chronicle the exploits of our Guardians, whether they triumph or are vanquished in playtest. We created new ways to let you shoot from the hip, and some helpful characters assumed their post in the tower. The part about having new ways to fire from the hip is quite interesting. While I would have assumed we could shoot from the hip in Destiny, it was never talked about before now. I'm definitely curious about what the new ways might be though. Moving on to the location, location, location segment, we stop at the moon one last time. That's right, this is most likely the last time Bungie will be showing us the moon in detail, as they want us to find out the rest on our own in-game. So the destination we'll be looking at is the Accelerator. We saw this being built in Grognok back at GDC, but now we get some more info. The Accelerator is basically a giant railgun, which during the Golden Age was used to send stuff to the far-off colonies in our solar system. Yeah, this thing actually shot stuff, from the moon, out to different places in the solar system where humanity was expanding. What I'm wondering though is what the heck happened when the payload hit the planet's surface? You'd think it would just disintegrate and cause a deadly shockwave. They must have slowed it down somehow. Anyways, there's a number of cool images here and some backstory, but as I said, I want to keep this brief, so if you'd like to see more, go ahead and check out the full update linked below. Now since this is the last time we'll be looking closely at the moon, before the beta anyways, if the beta allows us to go there, what planet or perhaps moon do you want them to show in detail next? I would imagine that it's either Mars or Venus, since they don't seem to want to talk more about Mercury, Europa, and the rings of Saturn at the moment, even though all of those are almost confirmed. Moving on, Bungie did a Destiny-themed pumpkin carving contest, and everyone who submitted actually got a beta code. There's some pretty awesome pumpkins here. If you'd like to see more, I'll leave a link to the gallery below. Ending the week is a brief mail sack with two interesting questions. Kosha11 asks, What happens to the unlucky guardians who don't survive and die? Deej answers, if they're lucky, they brought along some fellow guardians as allies in their fire team to revive them. The strength of the wolf is the pack, after all. Now I definitely wonder what happens if you're playing alone and there's no fellow guardians to revive you. I'm guessing there's some way to revive on your own, or perhaps you'll do something like restart at a checkpoint. We don't know. The next question comes from King in the North, who says, Many multi-platform games are often designed for what is colloquially known as the lowest common denominator, meaning the engine and graphics are dumbed down in order to accommodate the least advanced system it's being made for. Is something like that happening with Destiny? Deej answers, not at all, your highness. We knew when we started on this game that we would want to release it on a lot of boxes. We also knew that among all the trails that our guardians would blaze, some of them would lead to the next generation of gaming. Thus, we built ourselves a new game engine that would let us bring the noise to a lot of consoles. Basically, we can envision a big, beautiful world in our development environment, and then deliver that world to consoles in a way that maximizes its capabilities to make magic happen. They've talked a lot about the power of their new engine, and it sounds awesome, and the game certainly looks amazing in all the footage we've seen. Now that's everything for this breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next update.